This is DHG. And as part of the Halloween Horror Special, I am playing Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of This Earth. Wonderful. Horror, the true horror that paralyzes the mind and sears it with nightmares, is never truly revealed. I didn't get to read the prologue. I'll probably need the game tips. This game is very old. Massachusetts. Never been there. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. 
So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. <coughs> well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. I can't change to rip, uh, on, the game Dad, resolution. Got time to hang around. It's not even in the video settings. Check it out. Of course, playing it at the original resolution kind of gives it a old school feel. I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Just take it easy. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Are they tweakers? That started quickly. Can barely see a damn thing in here. And I'm wandering around in this house, unarmed. That's quite strange. Wait. Ugh. Looks like a Viking blood eel. Maybe one of the dead cops dropped their gun. Hate to loot their bodies, but... I'm not even going the right way. I can't open it. Damn. Looks Damn. like I'm stuck. Damn. I might as well check this place out. That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Kind of looks like something else to me. Oh, okay. So you save your game at the phallic symbol. All right. It's locked. Sure it is. It won't budge. It won't budge. All this doorknob jiggling reminds me of Silent Hill. That's not a bad thing. boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. Might be useful if I had a gun. That looks like a really shitty place to sleep. What's for dinner? Oh, you're dead. Poisoning by the looks of it. Why are they all wearing chains around their necks? dead. They're all dead. 
poison appears to have been on the menu. Why is my vision getting all funky? What a nut house. The walls have been covered with glyphs. Gonna say anything about the fire? It's an old stove. Yep. Glad we could have this talk. A diary. This will make interesting reading. Let's get into it. Oh, here we go. This has a white supremacist feel about it already. Already did that. Nothing of interest. There's a book right there. Nope, nothing of interest. All right, if you say so. Suicide, or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. Must have been one hell of a party. Bunch of dead neo Nazis lying about. This must be Victor. Is it a coincidence they kind of look like Victor's ass? Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. Oh, did you see his neck? Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. He ain't saying shit now. Key. Could come in handy. Oh. I thought it was a five. It's an S. I'm glad I, uh... I had tried recording this just a couple of minutes before, but it came in way too dark. I used to recommend it. I was going to say what happened to all the lights. I tried to use the recommended uh, brightness setting, but it was horribly dark. Maybe I could get in here. It won't budge. It won't open. Uh, nope. It's locked. It's unlocked. They appear to be pictures of pictures of me. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. The fire is still burning. It must have been lit recently, but it started to die down. A 
Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. I didn't even see the key. He must mean over here. Or I must mean over here. It's unlocked. What the hell is that? It appears to be a private study area. I want what's in here. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical oh, Greek. Oh, dear God, not Greek again. I'm making a reference to my playthrough of Daymare 1998 there. I don't think the Boston Globe would be in Greek. There we go. Flying polyps? What's this Boston Globe? country doesn't really respect religious freedom anymore. And I'm not saying that in approval. here. I wouldn't talk to the press either. They have no credibility. Bunch of wordsmiths and liars. This was a little off topic, but this right here just made me wonder. In 1915, that was before there was electricity everywhere, was it not? They would have still been using candles. This right here brings up a good point about religious freedom versus law. 
if your religious practices get in the way of criminal law that is rightfully put forth, then yes, you should be charged. Huh. I wonder if this was the guy that um was shown hanging himself right in the right in the intro. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. I agree. Wait, the hell? Oh shit, I didn't even see this here. Well, that's just swell. Man, this place is dangerous. Considering this came out before Amnesia, The Dark Descent, which a lot of people hail as the best horror game of all time, I'm more of a Silent Hill 2 person, but this weird distortion and shaking in my screen, I'm wondering if that's where they came up with the whole insanity system. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. That's an awful lot of space under a house. Sorry about that. I'll pay more attention next time. Oh, yay, you're dead. There is no next time. The machine must have overloaded. He's dead. Yeah. His heart has stopped. They removed his organs. His lungs have stopped ventilating. His stomach stopped moving. I couldn't tell if that was a liver or a stomach. Heh, <laughs> obvious what that is. What does he say? His brain stopped thinking. His brain stopped moving. Huh. Intestines. His intestines have stopped moving. Kidneys? His kidneys have stopped moving. Where's his nads? Can I get any type of a flashlight here? This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. I'm gonna press that button again. There's no power. Alright, I guess I'm not. Use the funky looking elevator. What could go wrong? There's no power. It looks like something's been removed from it.
I know this game's supposed to be dark and all, but I'm really having a hard time seeing it. That's a little better. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, that's right, I can jump. I can't jump over it. I wonder what it's for. I wonder why you can't jump higher. I guess I'm looking for this thingy. Whatever's in there sounds nasty. Crystal's still warm. I'll just take his. He don't need it anymore. Sorry about shocking you. But I gotta steal your shit. Where was it? Okay. It looks like something's been removed from... Yeah. Jam it in there with brute force. What did I just do? I'm sure they're friendly. been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. Okay, that answers my question. But to I thought me, he was dead. It was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. I'm pretty sure I saw German when and French When I reawakened there. five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Frank, Return to your normal to life has been a painful process. <laughs> In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. 
I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Alright. Looks like I got a good spot to cut off these videos at. That's the end of this one. See you later.